Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. This is uh, breaking news, tragic news. Uh, what a terrible situation. The headline tells us that a murder investigation is launched as three bodies, including two children, are found inside a burnt-out car at a busy park. Uh, this is in Coogee, Perth, Australia. John Graham Reserve. This happened midday Perth time which is just about six hours, seven hours ago. Um, so let's have a look at the details. Three people, including two kids, are feared dead after a car fire in the southern Perth suburb of Kuji, with homicide detectives called in to investigate the tragedy. Police were called to John Graham Reserve around midday on Monday, where the burnt-out vehicle was discovered. Uh, Western Australian police said at least one person was dead, However, sources claim up to three people may have died. The victims are believed to be an adult and two children from the same family. A police spokesperson said that they could not confirm how many bodies were inside the vehicle at the time. Detectives are currently at the scene determining the circumstances surrounding the incident. Shocked witnesses said they saw flames emanating from the car before later learning about the grisly find. Here's a quote from one of the witnesses. I thought this car had caught on fire. I didn't know where, I didn't know there was a body or someone was in there. Another bystander said, I saw really burning big flames and then suddenly came a big sound and the flames became bigger also. A man who was in the area around the time of the incident said he heard gunfire. Here's a quote from a man who was around the area at the time four shots sounded like gunfire then there was a pause and then maybe another three shots after that then i started waiting and heard maybe another five then the car started burning after wow man that is shocking that's terrible you don't get this kind of thing in australia it's not usual uh, photos published from the scene showed a large police presence with the car covered in a tarp. Please, police have urged anyone with dash cam footage uh, between 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. in the area to contact Crime Stoppers. Wow, that is shocking. Here's the the park, John Graham Reserve. Um, so it will essentially be a nice. Uh, I'm not familiar with the the area, of course, um, but it will be a nice nature reserve and you can go there to have a picnic there's probably more bushland around the reserve that you can go for a nice walk or a cycle ride you have this type of park or reserve all over australia and it's one of the the best aspects of of australia you know and they're family orientated it, you know everyone here as we can see their family they're going for a nice day in the sun um having a little bit of a picnic Wow, that's shocking. That's sh a shocking outcome, a disturbing outcome. Three bodies that is unconfirmed. The police have not confirmed, uh, other than to say at least one death. Um, but it is believed that it, uh, three bodies were found in the burnt out car, which includes, it, it's believed that it includes two children. Uh, no names have been released. Um, they've not been identified, seemingly, uh, at this point, or certainly that information hasn't been released. I presume it will be. But this is the really shocking aspect to me about one of the witnesses. There seemingly were a few witnesses, a few bystanders, bystanders that saw the, the car on fire, but presumed that, you know, there was nobody in the car. Um, but this man said that he heard gunfire, four shots, sounded like gunfire, then there was a pause, and then maybe another three shots after that, and then maybe another five. So that's, you know, give or take 12 gunshots that this guy believes he heard. Then the car started burning after. So my question would be, is this guy right? Would he have heard gunshots or could he be mis mistaken? I've previously been mistaken. I've, I've previously heard fireworks. 
and thought them to be gunfire. I was wrong. Uh, but these guys in, in WA, they know what gunfire sounds like. Um, and there's seemingly three bodies in a car. So gunfire makes a lot of sense. Um, that's shocking. Was it one of the three that shot themselves? Was it a murder-suicide? Double murder-suicide? Or was it... Um, was it someone else that killed those that are in the car? Potentially three people. Uh, one has been confirmed dead. And uh, the police are yet to confirm the other two. But it is believed that there were three people, including two children from the same family. So I'm going to wrap things up here. Char shocking. I'm absolutely shocked this happened earlier today. Less than seven hours ago, seemingly. Um... I'll follow this case if I get any more information if there's any more articles I presume there will be I'll provide updates of course prayers to all those concerned in, in regards to the family uh, and, the, and the community as well are going to be shaken to the core and uh, let's hope that the investigation does make progress of course if anyone has any dash cam video if they happen to be in the area around the John Graham Reserve uh, particularly if that was around 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. today, um, you know, do double check your dash cam footage and um, contact the authorities to inform them of whatever it is that you might have. Um, but uh, best of luck to the investigation and um, we'll see how this develops. Thank you for your time.